hi and welcome to my first vlog i know you guys have been asking me to do my blog for such a long time and i taken years but it's finally here you're watching it right now so um first of all i wanna to say sorry because i have a really strong accent so you might not be able to understand but a lot of things that i'm saying throughout the whole video but i'm gonna try my best to just make it as easy as possible for you basically what i have planned today just to take you to my day show you how you should eat in a day especially right now that i'm a prep uh, it's not gonna be completely different than my regular day of eating i can always update you guys later on making our video how we do it without me being on a prep right now it is very early in the morning it's around uh yeah it's almost 6 a.m in the morning i am gonna go to the gym i'm gonna do some fasted cardio and then i'm also gonna do my leg day I'm not gonna show you guys my training right now, but I will do it in another different video. This video right now is just specifically focus on my nutrition and things that I eat in a day, okay? So, I'll see you guys later. It's been around two hours of the gym and right now I'm just making my breakfast, as you can see. I am like basically burning a pan right now. I'm just gonna have egg whites, I'm gonna have turkey bacon, and I'm gonna have a slice of bagel, whole wheat bagel. Also, I'm gonna make my morning drink with apple cider vinegar. So, I usually use the little cap. I just pour one and two. That's roughly like around one tablespoon, maybe one tablespoon and a half, something like that. And then I just immediately fill with like a lot of water. So as you feel like, not all the way to the top, but as you feel like a lot of it with water. And this is just part of my water intake. So a lot of people do ask me why I take or drink my morning apple cider vinegar. It's not something related to fat loss or anything like that. The main reason why I take the apple cider vinegar every single morning is because it helps me with my bloating. I have a lot of digestive issues. So a lot of foods that I eat, it's really hard for my body to like process it or to digest it properly. So I do bloat a lot throughout the whole day. My apple cider vinegar has helped me out so much throughout the day. And that's the only reason why I take it. But it also has some other benefits in which you can think as a diuretic, diuretic, which basically means you're gonna go to the restroom quite often. This is how it finally looks. I choose my eggs, my spinach, and my bacon cheese. My turkey bacon, which is gonna cook weird. No worry, I'm a good chef. It's gonna taste good. And my half a bagel with taksaki, taksisiki. I, I don't know how to say that. Oh, look at this boy. Hello, Frank. Oh, hello, Frank. He just wants my food. Ain't that right, boy? <laughs> there she is. She's jealous. She doesn't like when I pet her. You don't like me when I pet her? Hmm? You don't like that? Mm. Okay, as you can see, I have large extensions. So it's gonna get them refilled so they can look nice and pretty. And I'm also gonna get a work after that. So. I usually just have my food already prepped. I usually prep my meals one or two days beforehand because I don't like to keep food in my fridge for such a long time. So what I usually do, so let's say two days before I'm supposed to eat something, I just cook whatever I'm supposed to eat for the, for the next of the three days or whatever, everything. I usually cook everything in the oven or my slow cooker or if I just want everything just quick and bam. I just use a pan and I save it up in containers like this. I do measure and track all my calories for now because I'm prepping like I said before. So these right here, just basically six, six ounces of blank steak and meat. Um, have a cup of white rice and one cup of vegetables. Um, that's for my lunch. I also bring a protein shake for my snack, some fruits. And then when I get off work around 6, 5, it depends, I'm gonna get my 
beer or my snack, which is gonna be tilapia, white rice, and more vegetables. See you later. Is that by you before me? No. Uh, of course you're not. You're just smiling and like, oh, let me cool. <laughs> so we're actually at work right now, but it's fine because my mom's the boss, so I can do whatever I want if I want to. Don't tell her that. <laughs> if you don't know, I actually work in a macro shop. Yeah, she does. In a very pink, vibrant, vibrant store. I keep doing this. <laughs> so I actually got my lashes done. So they're like fresh, they're beautiful. And after this, we're gonna go to our regular car meet every single Wednesday with the guys. Let's see your lips. Check it out on YouTube. Yeah, we just made a, I just got the um, editing of that video done. Looks pretty good. So I'm excited to get it out there. I just need an outro. I was supposed to record what I ate at lunch. I kind of told you what I ate, but I didn't show you how it looked. So it's gotta take my word for it. It was steak, rice, and vegetables. But I'm gonna try to show you my dinner because that's supposed to be the video. What I ate in a day. So. So hello guys, I am back from work and I'm currently at my house all over again, as you can see. I'm pretty sure you recognize the background. Um, right now, I'm just making dinner for my boyfriend. Just making some some pasta, nothing special, nothing great. And I'm gonna get the food that was, I already had prepped. So it's gonna be tilapia with white rice and some veggies, which I'm actually gonna cook now because I didn't do that. So I'm just gonna try to grill, or yeah, grill in a pan. Some zucchini, some red bell peppers, some avocados, some onions, and I'm gonna pan grill it. I'm gonna put some seasonings in it and it's gonna be amazing. Um, I also have some food for him because he's, he's a fat ass. Um, the weather is really bad, so I don't think we're going to the car meet anymore. But I, at least I can show you how I cook most of my meals. I'm also gonna prep some shrimp that I'm gonna be eating for the next two days and I might prep some fish. It depends on how I'm feeling, but I will most likely prep some shrimp. Cooking dinner right now. Venus. Venus. You're on camera, Venus. She loves can you way too much. Mm. Venus. So what do we have here? I have some zucchini, some red bell peppers and onions. Zucchini, I already showed them what I was cooking. And onions. Yeah, I was, I already showed them what I was cooking and I made I made a little bit of a mess. I think they're okay with that. No, I'm not okay with it though. I'm, so. Well I'm okay with it. Stop it. I know you're zooming in. I'm not zooming in this, oh, well. time. this time. But I'm making you some ravioli, some rigaldi or rivali, I don't know how you say it. I'm gonna put a little bit of shredded shrimp, shredded chicken, so you can have some. Shredded shrimp. God, that's awesome. I know you're not supposed to be using this for like stirring stuff, but I don't care. And. Why are you supposed to do that? Because it's not meant for that. It's meant for like, yeah, you it know, gets, it gets the job stuff. done. Yeah. It works. But I'm lazy though. So. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. I'm just gonna pour a little water. And cover. It doesn't do that. Yeah, I was disappointed. <laughs> <laughs> no. and all I used was she probably the five spice rub. You can get a better shot of that. I used the olive oil by Brad. Let me go ahead and zoom on this too. <laughs> what else? Garlic. They know what garlic is. Yes, they know. Yeah, but they don't know they oh, sell they garlic exact. in a bottle. I didn't know that. Garlic in a bottle. And the more you know. I am powder. Oh shoot, I forgot to put salt in it. This is my meal. Like said before, six ounces of tilapia. Uh, half a cup of zucchini, red bell peppers and onions, uh, half a cup of rice, 
and the camera is getting foggy. He already ate all his food. Oh, I'm cleaning the plate. <sighs> I hate when he does that. That's about it. I'm gonna finish my meal and then I'm gonna show you real quick how to meal prep. Like I said before, I'm doing some shrimps. And it's real simple, it's nothing too complicated. It's not rocket science to be honest, anyone can do it. Just, it takes time, that's about it. So this is how I'm gonna meal prep my shrimp. And as you can tell, I just put like a parchment paper in the bottom. Just recent some palm oil. I pretty much season it with onion powder, cilantro, and full seasoning by Flavor God. And I'm gonna put it in the oven for 350. I'm gonna let it sit for like 10 to 12 minutes. Final result is this shrimp. It looks pretty good to be honest. And this is pretty much what I'm gonna do now. So I have everything on a scale. I already know how much is in here. And I already cooked my uh, white rice. Well, I actually cooked like a bunch of white rice like a few days ago. So I just kind of like scoop out the rest. Just half a cup. I used the rest of the veggies that I just made long ago. And all I'm gonna do is get them. That's four ounces of shrimp. I'm gonna save the rest, I'm gonna put it away so I can make some other batch from tomorrow and maybe um, Friday. So that is pretty much what I did in a, what I eat in a day. I know I didn't record any snacks and I really didn't have a lot of snacks today because my meal is pretty much pretty much fill all my macros. The only snack that I had to do was just one rice cake with peanut butter, half teaspoon of peanut butter, and half a cup of just berries. Because that's what I love, I love berries. I usually have one to two snacks throughout the day. Usually a protein shake and some sort of protein. I try to make sure all my snacks are packed with protein, packed with like enough carbs that I need, especially if I gotta work out right after that and make sure they has enough healthy fats for me to make me satisfied throughout the day. So, uh, thank you for following me through my first vlog. I know it's kinda weird and I'm still kinda getting the hang of it. Sorry for my accent too, but I'll see you guys later and hope you keep watching me. Make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel and follow me on Instagram, which I'm gonna be leaving everything down below. Thank you.